And now it's Annalise's turn. My name is Annalise. I'm an integrative leadership and empowerment coach, consultant, and facilitator. I am so glad you are here. My topic is power of pattern seeing infinity in habits, behavior, and the natural world. And I invite you to explore a new way to see your world. I hope to pique your curiosity, to give you a chance to perceive infinity, and also to take away a couple of tools that will help foster you as a change agent. We find patterns everywhere, in the natural world and man-made, from the pretty shapes that attract our eyes when we buy a house, blouse, or a pillow, all the way to inside of our own bodies. Expressed everywhere from trees to veins, patterns most importantly set the stage and the environment for how we experience our world, consciously and subconsciously. How aware are you of your patterns? I'm frequently told you always see things differently. And yes, this is a pattern that's true for me. Geometric, mathematic, science, and nature-based, patterns are both physical and non-physical. So I invite you to invest, investigate how and where do patterns manifest themselves in your life. Patterns also inform and shape our behavior. The choices that you make create the path that you're on. And when you look for an underlying story, you might discover more about another hidden pattern. And when you observe that, you create challenge and alter that pattern. As coaches, we have a unique and extraordinary role to play by inviting our clients to explore their own patterns and to design new behaviors. One of the ways that I do this is to ask, what's working here? What's good? And when we do this, we establish a sustainable foundation on which new patterns can be created. After much study, I created what I call the three laws of patterns. And the first one is that everything is connected because we're a part of an intricate and expansive system where all things big and small are linked. Think about a spider's web. When something here affects the entire web from end to end, it's one big system. So think about how deeply connected everything is for you specifically around patterns. Number two is that all knowledge leads to knowledge. TED Talk curator Chris Anderson said, it's a tragedy that we spend most of our time deep in the trenches and not looking at our world from the 30,000 foot view so that we can see how those trenches connect to see context. Another example of this is that I have a client, whom I love, who lives in New York. She started a lofty goal of exercising three times a week from no exercise. And she emailed me her progress email and said, I can't believe this. There's so many people walking around the city of New York wearing gym clothes. How is this possible? And I said, well, we see what we see when we're ready to see it. And the reason why is because particles become entangled. It's called quantum entanglement. It's a fascinating thing that Einstein, a phenomenon called spooky action at a distance. The third law is that patterns traditionally, most of the time, tend to be self-similar at every scale. Benoit Mendelbrot, who is a fractal mathematician, created the Mendelbrot set. And he said, think not of what you see, but what it took to produce what you see in entirety. So this means that you and I can study cracks in the sidewalk and learn something about the Grand Canyon and how that might have been created, but we can also observe ants to see and to solve for problems for traffic. What if we applied nature-based thinking to coaching and to behavior change and leadership? This system study is called biomimicry. It's where nature's genius informs man-made solutions. Meanwhile, the brain is looking for patterns. It wants to know, is it safe? Can I eat it? Can I mate with it? It's asking over and over again, what patterns are here for safety so that I can be okay? We are pattern-making, pattern-seeking creatures, constantly calculating for predictability. The amygdala, which lies in the back of the brain, is responsible for our fight and flight mechanism. It's important to say, ooh, something is not safe. But too much safety when it's not dire to survival can really affect us and slow us down. So the way that we language our world 
internally and externally, sets the stage for how we experience our world. To whom is something obvious? Who is doing the shoulding? It's easy for us to see patterns in others, not so easy for us to hear it on our own. So over time with practice, new habits and patterns are established because what fires together, wires together. We are small authors of a big unfolding story. And this is where being the change we wish to see begins. So I trust that you've had your curiosity piqued, had a chance to experience infinite possibilities, and have taken a few tidbits and tools back to your world to help you become a better change agent. I'm Annalise, your conduit for change, empowering people, fostering ideas, and changing lives. Thank you for your listening. All right, Annalise.